Hey guys, Ryan here from Luminetic Lighting and today we're going to be talking about the Mini D2S 3.0 by Xenon Projector. First off, a few things about this projector. Um, it's got a 3 inch clear lens so it's got a really nice light output. Um, it's got a sharp cutoff with a very colorful cutoff as well. Secondly, it's got a bisonarm uh, solenoid so it will work on any single or dual filament bulbs. And thirdly, it's really easy to install with the H4-9003 adapter. Let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is. After you remove your headlights from the car, you want to remove any rubber grommets, uh, rubber fittings, and any bulb holders uh, from the headlight itself. Here you just need to unscrew the screw that holds the bulb holder. Next, preheat your oven to 270 degrees Fahrenheit and put the headlight on a cookie sheet so it doesn't burn from the rack and you want to bake this for 7 minutes after 7 minutes you want to remove your headlights from the oven be careful it's hot here you want to remove the lens from the headlight housing itself there are tabs along the top and the bottom of the headlight and you want to lift the tab gently from the headlight uh, so that you can remove the lens. I find it easiest to start from the corner with a flathead screwdriver separating the lens from the headlight. Once you're able to start separating the lens from the headlight housing, you can use the X-Acto knife to uh, cut off the sealant so that it's easier to remove. As you lift the lens away from the headlight housing, be reminded to lift away from the headlight with the headlight lens above the headlight housing. This way the sealant doesn't fall into the headlight lens and uh, it's really hard to remove the sealant once it sticks onto the lens. The next step is to remove the bulb shield that's inside the reflector bowl. It's held on by one screw, so what you want to do is unscrew one of the adjusting screws to remove the reflectable far enough away from the headlight housing to access that one screw. Use an electric drill so it goes faster. Once you have the reflectable far away from the headlight housing, Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove that bulb shield. Here you can see I just created enough room so that I can unscrew that little one screw. After you remove the bulb shield, screw the adjusting screw back onto the reflector bowl. Next we're going to install the projector. You're going to need the H4 adapter and the locking nut. Before we install, you want to test the bi-xenon solenoid to ensure smooth operation. Connect the wires to a 9 volt battery 
for about 10 to 15 times just to ensure that the solenoid goes up and down smoothly. Attach the H4 adapter to the back of the reflector bowl. Next you want to feed the wires through the hole in the reflector bowl and insert the projector into the H4 adapter. Next, screw the locking nut onto the back of the projector. Don't tighten it all the way as you still may need to rotate the projector to ensure that your beam is completely level. At this point you want to either attach your headlights back onto your car and fire up your HIDs just to ensure that the cutoff is level. Here I'm just testing it with a test bench that I have. Once you have everything level, remove your headlights again and you want to tighten the locking nut. As you tighten the locking nut, ensure that the projector does not rotate further. Next we're going to install the shrouds. For this we're using the Apollo 3 shroud and I had to cut out the bottom to ensure that it would fit properly inside the reflector bowl. Next mix up some JB welds so that you can apply it onto the shroud. Apply the epoxy on the inner fingers of the shroud and also ensure you apply some on the inner ring. Install the shroud onto the projector but be careful not to get any epoxy on the projector lens. Next we're going to prepare to close up the headlight. Apply some sealant if needed onto the groove of the headlight housing. You can do this by stretching out the butyl rubber so that it fits and slides into the grooves easily. Before you close up the headlight, wipe down the projector lens and the shroud to ensure there's no fingerprints or dust. Now you can place the lens back onto the headlight housing. Start on one quarter and ensure all the tabs line up with the headlight lens. Once you have the lens on, you can start 
using pliers to squeeze the headlight back onto the headlight housing. Do your best to squeeze the headlight lens back onto the headlight housing. It might not go snugly until you bake the headlight again to soften the sealant up. Preheat your oven again to 270 degrees Fahrenheit and bake your headlight for 7 minutes. Once it's done baking, you can use the pliers again to squeeze the headlight lens closer to the headlight housing. The sealant should be soft enough now so that this is a lot easier to do. As you squeeze the headlight lens to the headlight housing, you can flip the tabs back onto the headlight lens. Now you're almost done. Install any rubber grommets or fittings back onto the back of the headlight. Give your headlight lens a wipe down to ensure it's clean. Install your headlights back onto the car, fire up those HIDs, and aim the headlights to make sure that it's at the proper height. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. And please ensure you subscribe for more great videos.